We're talking about the convention, and I want to start with Kamala Harris is talking about January 6th. So check this out. Donald Trump tried to throw away your votes. When he failed, he sent an armed mob to the United States Capitol where they assaulted law enforcement officers. When politicians in his own party begged him to call off the mob and send help, he did the opposite. He fanned the flames. And now, for an entirely different set of crimes, he was found guilty of fraud by a jury of everyday Americans and separately, and separately found liable for committing sexual abuse. Theme, the theme of every speaker is shotgun lies. Let's just get a big old gumball machine of lies and we're gonna spit them out faster than people can keep up with them. They lie so much. It would take almost a part-time job just to fact check everything. But, you know, that's why we're here. And that's why people have uh, podcasters like not just us, but other shows. The main thing that I, I wanted to pull out of that video was her talking about with January 6th that Trump sent a mob. Okay, so there's a lot of people outside the Capitol on that day. A peaceful protest is fine. A minority of the crowd went into the Capitol building. There's video footage of them being let in. They didn't force their way in. It was wrong for them to be there. I don't endorse it. There's also video footage of a security guard saying, stop, stop, back up. And people are coming up the stairs. Most folks that follow the news and follow politics have seen that already. But the whole point of this the Democrats don't care about anything, anything that happened that day, except how they could use it to try to stop Trump. So I believe it was the day before he said, you know, he didn't, he didn't want to accept the results of the election and he has the right to not accept it. And he wanted to get people together, his supporters to protest it. So a peaceful protest is fine. You all have a constitutional right to a peaceful assembly. But he did not tell a mob to go over there and to do anything unlawful. And he said to have a peaceful protest. So that's just one lie in what she said. Again, I want to hear, first of all, if you actually go to, you can go to AP at this point in time. You can go to Snopes at this point in time. And even they will tell you, as leftist as Snopes is, they will tell you that Donald Trump did not encourage people to go and riot at the Capitol. Actually, if you go to AP, you can search on what this speech actually was. You can look at his quote, read exactly what he says, and um, know that he did not encourage people to riot at all, first of all. Secondly, I'm like, I've been on my personal Facebook page. I don't want to hear anything about January 6th without talking about the summer of 2020. The summer of 2020, Minneapolis, New York, um, I don't I think it was Charleston, Chicago, Seattle, and other LA, um, I think it was Texas as well. They're, they were burning down things. They were burning down courthouses. They were vandalizing statues. If you guys have a not so you know short memory, you know that they were burning down statues of Abraham Lincoln, of George Washington, of, of some of our founding fathers. They were vandalizing the federal courthouses. That was going on in the summer of 2020. But back to January 6th, the summer of 2020. So don't talk about one and not talk about the other. Secondly, there's something in there she said about votes. Okay, first of all, she has not gotten one vote. She ran in 2016, and she could only get 1% of the vote. Okay, she didn't even make it to Iowa. She got knocked out early on, and they went for Biden. So she's talking about um, Trump stealing votes or whatever. Well, she has never gotten a vote, period. So what you've just seen is a Democrat Party coup who just kicked out Joe Biden for her, 